Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Signcast. I'm Madeline. I'm the host, and I'm Signup's content and community manager. Today's a very special day. We're talking with Roshan Agarkar, our senior director of product. So get excited. Uh, we're celebrating the launch today of our newest product rollout, Sign Up Social. So we're covering all the bases from why social media management needs to be part of your local marketing strategy to how to use AI as part of that strategy. Of course, we'll be talking a ton about the launch. It's been a long time coming and the product is fantastic. So this is a great opportunity to hear what it's all about. So let's jump right into it. Um, Roshan, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about your background? Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. As you said, it's a very, very exciting day. Uh, one of the days that we've been waiting for many months now, building up to today, building up to this week uh, when we are launching and announcing our product in the market. A little bit about myself. Um, I have been in, so I have engineering business school background. I've been in product management space for about uh, 11 and a half years now. Work with uh, travel IT companies, uh, work with automotive tech. Uh, that's where I have spent a majority of my time. Long story short, I have been part of journeys where we are bringing uh, digital transformation within organizations, uh, such as buying and selling of cars. So changing the whole car buying industry, uh, moving them from uh, physical papers to digital paper, uh, digitizing. Uh, that's what my background has been. I've been with Sign Up for close to three years now. Exactly three years now. In my little time at Sign Up, uh, you know, we've had uh, some wins under our under our belt where we were able to help uh, local businesses. We were able to help multi-location businesses uh, get to a point where they are able to make the the digital profile, uh, which is what uh, you know, typically a, a Google business profile or a Facebook profile is called. We are they are able to make that a primary revenue driving channel because that's really where most of the traffic is right now. I don't have to tell that to you. Uh, yeah. So, and you know, in the last, uh, for the last few months, uh, we've been working on building this uh, social media management tool uh, first to market with all the features uh, and all the, all the exciting things that we've built into it. It was, uh, it was long time coming. This is not just another social media management or social media posting tool. It's a right. lot more than that. As we get into this, uh, uh, this podcast, uh, I'll talk a little bit about it, but yeah, that's my background. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You have a ton of experience and my time at sign up, I've been like, wow, Roshan, he's the guy, he's the man. <laughs> and <laughs> the, nice yeah, yeah. As someone who's been in like the social media space, I'm like, this is honestly a really great social media management platform. So yeah, I'm excited to let everybody know about it. Um, yeah. So I, I'd love to hear a little bit about the creation of sign up social and kind of what inspired you to say, this is the next product that sign up needs to make. Yeah. It's it's a well-known fact that SignUp has been around for many years now. A very popular name when it comes to uh, digital marketing for local businesses. So right. within the umbrella of digital marketing, uh, we've been a very popular name when it comes to uh, local marketing, a local listings management platform, or a reputation management platform, which is helping any and every business that has a physical location, typically a business that has multiple physical locations, giving them a digital presence, which is really one of the major problems that we are solving. We are helping businesses get listed on, on Google search, on Google Maps, Facebook, Yelp, so on and so forth, uh, 60 such publishers. Now, that is helping uh, businesses have a digital footprint uh, when it comes to local marketing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a natural expansion to add to our suite of products to, a, to marry that with a social offering. Social media is the one of the other places, which is actually a larger traffic driver in today's world for, um, for the Gen Zs as well as for the millennials, uh, where that's where they are going to look up a restaurant and finding, hey, what kind of food this restaurant is serving? Let me look that up on TikTok. Let, mm -hmm. let me look that up on Instagram. Sometimes you even come across some places because your friend visited a particular restaurant uh, and they posted about it on Instagram. You see a nice picture of a cocktail or a nice, uh, a nice plate with food. And um, all you remember is the name of that restaurant. And Instagram is the place uh, where you've seen it first. Right. Um, so naturally, these social media publishers have been driving a lot of traffic. So it's it's very important for any and every business to be able to have social media presence. Now, social media presence is not just simply going and creating a, a profile. Uh, social media algorithms uh, have been changing every other day. It's a very, very competitive space for businesses to compete with each other on social media platform. So that's really where we come in. Uh, we help them not just have a footprint on social media, uh, but to be able to manage it more effectively, to be able to stay visible, to be able to improve the visibility. You know, I, 
I'll, I'll get a little deeper into it. But uh, to answer your question in short, uh, the one of the larger motivations to build this was to expand our suite of offering uh, and which is a natural expansion if you think right. of what our history has been yeah right yeah yeah i love that idea of like having social media be an extension of the local marketing strategies you're already employing yeah. for your business yeah I, I know that marketing can especially in larger companies get so siloed because it's like this person is handling this and that person's handling that but like it makes sense to have it all be in one suite and all be kind of able to be controlled in the same um, platform and by the same people so it doesn't get so like communication errors within your going all company. in one place yeah <laughs> who doesn't like everything in one place exactly I definitely do I'm always misplacing stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah right. so I'd, I'd love to hear about um what make sign up social unique some of the more um unique aspects when you were going into creating it so i'll talk about I'll, I'll i'll talk a little bit about the journey that led up to this day that led up to this week you know one of the things that we largely focus on when we are doing product discovery is to understand what the market need is now, talking to our existing customers our existing customers there was a large demand from our existing customers to be able to simply do social media posting but that is that to be able to do social media post is literally the the one one line problem. Uh, the larger problem uh, under that is, I want to I want to improve my visibility as a brand on social media. Uh, I want people to come and interact with my post more and more people to interact with my posts. Uh, I want more and more people to be able to uh, view my post. Uh, I want to improve my followers. So th that's just one aspect of it. Uh, however, creating uh, posts on social media has uh, a preliminary problem, a prerequisite, which is to create content. Content creation is really where majority of the social media marketers are spending majority of their time. That's where they have been coming up with content calendars. Uh, they know what content to create this week that they have to push out to social media next week, or let's work on something today that we would be pushing out next month. That needs a lot of back and forth uh, between sometimes with their customers, sometimes with their supervisors, sometimes with their product team, sometimes with just understanding wh where the leadership wants to take the organization and to follow a tone uh, that they are able to consistently keep on posting uh, along the lines of on social media to be relatable, to be just uh, uh, relevant. Uh, that's right. really that, that, that's really what is uh, social media posting is for. Um, very rarely you would see businesses uh, driving leads. You very rarely you would see businesses uh, getting conversions. Basically, go, people going in and buying a product, a, a product such as a B two B product, uh, right. uh, typically through social media. But the awareness is something that everybody has. Uh, having those callbacks because now that you've heard of a particular brand, and when you see that in person, or when you hear that in a conversation, and it's something that you've heard of in social media, um, there are always callbacks. And these callbacks is something that is through the visibility of a brand on social media. So those are some of the problems we were able to uncover. Uh, mm -hmm. To summarize, obviously, there is everyone wants to post regularly. Uh, that leads to the problem of creating content. Uh, creating content is a very big problem. Right. Uh, on top of it, posting relevant content. Um, that is another problem. It takes months and weeks of research to be able to come up with a post that is going to be relevant to be posted today. Mm -hmm. So while we uncovered these problems, um, uh, there was obviously on the parallel track, we were also working on building a solution, which has to be just more than creating social media posts. Exactly. Um, that's really when uh, we came up with a plan for sign up social. So what sign up social is able to do? Uh, sign up social is able to, it's a, it's a fully self-service product, uh, which uh, anyone and everyone can go and start a free trial uh, mm -hmm. even today. And as you are going and using the product more and more, it starts evolving. Uh, when it starts evolving, it starts telling you what next step you should be taking. Mm -hmm. What are some of the posts that you should be posting today? What are some of the posts that you should be posting tomorrow? Now, if you're wondering how are we coming up with all these posts, uh, we have our own AI trained models, um, have been trained with historical posts of a particular brand. So when you go and log into sign up and you are connecting your Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, um, we are pulling in your historical posts understanding what kind of posts you create regularly. What is the tone of the post? How are these posts written? Um, uh, what is the typical time when you uh, create a post? Uh, when do you publish it? All of these things are fed into our AI model. And that is 
straight away giving you suggestions, literally having multiple posts ready for you. Mm -hmm. So when you log into the platform, all you're going to see is multiple posts, AI created posts ready for you, for you to simply review them, edit them if you wish to, if not just publish them. The more you use the platform, the more it will understand how you are creating social media posts. Everyone has a style, every single brand, every single social media manager, they have a certain style and a certain tone they typically try to follow on social media. Um, as our AI model learns about that more and more, it starts sounding more and more like you. It's mm -hmm. able to give you more relevant suggestions. It's able to write the content and copies for you, captions and posts and content for you as if it's written by you as a social media manager of that brand. Um, that's how far we are. We were able to take it as we are launching this. Like I said, uh, you are able to some of the some of the bare basics uh, that includes you are able to create a multi-network social media post within a single screen, which is one of the other challenges. That mm -hmm. hey, with uh, with Instagram, I can write a thousand word, thousand character caption, but with Twitter, it's only two hundred and eighty. Okay, I have to go and use two different platforms, or I have to create two separate posts. Um, what if I'm able to just create one single post, and I'm able to just change a variant of that caption or of that post uh, to be going out onto Twitter, to be going out onto Instagram, LinkedIn, so on and so forth. You naturally also have different type of audiences going in and uh, looking at some of those posts. Um, exactly. Uh, all of these things are very easily possible. I will also tell you, it's also one of the only platforms that is showing you robust analytics all in one place. One of the other challenges that social media managers are able to, they often face is, um, sure, there are multiple products that are out there that are going to show you how you did last month across all the social media network. However, they don't tell you the trends. Uh, we are able to tell you the trends. Hey, mm -hmm. if there was a sudden spike in the number of comments you got, number of likes you got, um, here are some of the posts that contributed to it. And for that reason, you might want to create more such posts because that's really what people have been engaging with your brand with. That's really what people expect out of you. Um, the more people engage with you, the more people, uh, the reach naturally just increases. Now, I may be stating the obvious here. I'm sure you are, you are aware of this, but uh, um, uh, a brand, let's say, has 20,000 followers on LinkedIn. Uh, when they create a post, it does not go out uh, to be viewed by all 20,000 followers. Uh, the way social media has been updating their algorithm is you will only see a post from a brand, especially when a post comes out from a brand, when someone from your network has interacted with it. Mm -hmm. And when someone from your network is interacted with it, you have interacted with that person in the past or in the recent past, only then you see it. So it has to go through multiple networks mm -hmm. before a, a brand post. So having that engagement from your people or people that you trust or people from your network is very, very important so that it just amplifies the visibility and it goes into their network. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so these are some of the problems our product is solving, making it very easy. Um, I said content creation is easy. Uh, we literally have uh, something that is very unique to us and idea speed. Mm -hmm. um, every single day, uh, you as a social media manager or a business owner or anyone and everyone who's running social media for a brand, you are able to just wake up, go and log into our platform, look at the ideas pane. There are tons and tons of ideas of what social media post you should be creating out of. All you have to do is simply select an idea if you like an idea. Right. And our system is smart enough to generate a social media post for you. And if, if that's too much work for you, we just have ready-made social media posts also that are AI generated, ready for you to just simply for you to edit and post. Uh, more posts, more engagement, more engagement, more brand visibility. Right. And uh, that's really how we've, I may have oversimplified it, but that's really how we've gone about no, it. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. That is that is what it does. That is what it does. Because it's, it's, I love how you tackled this problem of, oh, the problem isn't necessarily just managing your social media postings the problem starts at the beginning where it's you need to create yeah. content where are you getting the inspiration like how are you figuring out what worked in the past like in the past when um I've worked with other platforms the way that I figure out what worked is I go and I look on the platform itself because that's where the good analytics are like a lot of other social media management platforms do have a bit of analytics but they're not saying this post is what mm -hmm got you this great engagement or this post is what actually like caused this spike in followers and yeah as as a social media 
manager or whoever is managing the social media, like social media obviously moves super fast. If you had a post last month that performed really well, you've already forgot about it, but the platform reminds you, the platform is like that little assistant who's telling you like, these are the good ideas. These are the good posts. Don't forget about them. Like post more. (laughs) Always. And you know, one of the other things, which is, uh, which is also a common problem and a very rarely spoken problem is um, you might have created a post in November. Mm -hmm but that received a lot of engagement in December. Yeah. So what happens is the way these reports are generated on a typical social media management platform that it's gonna say that, hey, you received a lot of engagement in the month of December. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is going to go and see the post that you created in in the month of December and uh, you might try to recreate it, but you're forgetting forgetting the fact that this particular post was actually published in November. It received more engagement. So the post that needs to get credit for the sudden spike in engagement um, is something that's very rarely bubbled up to a social media manager. Uh, And imagine just with a single click, if if it's right in front of you and the system is smart enough to even tell you, give you suggestions to create more such posts, uh, you know, that, that just, uh, you know, makes it, uh, makes it easier than anything else. Right. Right. And I, I especially love how you describe the process of, Oh, this AI, it starts out, And as you go along, it learns more and more about like the way you post your brand tone, where, when you usually post, like, like the more you use the platform, the better and better it's going to get. The the more it learns you, the better it performs and makes your life easy. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I I know that as people have been experimenting with the chat GPT, things like that, the criticism has been, oh, it sounds super generic. Even if you may feed it like one or two sample things, it's like, if you're using it just as a basic user, it's kind of like, oh, this is a really generic AI generated content. But if you have something that's paying attention to you, paying attention to your brand voice, it's actually going to be something that's super useful in your social media tool belt. That's, that's exactly right. Uh, Right. uh, You know, if, uh, if you or anyone who's going to listen to this, if they're wondering that, Hey, how, how, how is this different from chat GPT? Why should I use sign up social and not directly go to chat GPT mm-hmm. and uh, ask a question such as, and which is a very common practice. If you go on, if you go on Twitter, if you go on YouTube, uh, you will find millions and millions of threads and videos altogether that have been created in the last one, one and a half month since chat GPT is launched uh, that tell you how to effectively use chat GPT for your social media management. Right. Um, if you're wondering how, why should someone not follow that and you sign up social the answer is very simple um chat gpd uh, is not up to date with all the data until today mm-hmm. uh, that's one thing uh, chat gpd is something that has only data from 2021 it's something i'm sure it's known to everyone the other thing is chat gpd does not study you uh, our system is studying you uh, our system is studying you as a brand user on top of it, we are also feeding your history. You may be, uh, you may be a home building brand. You may be a, a pet supplies brand. You may mm-hmm. be a, a, a restaurant. You may be a, a paint selling brand, irrespective of which brand you are, whether you have uh, a physical location or not. Every single brand has social media presence. And um, uh, irrespective of what brand you are, our, our AI is fed that data of what brand and what industry you are from so right. that it is, it is creating stuff that is creating content that is relevant as well as it sounds as if it's coming from a brand from that particular industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, that's, it's, it's not something that can be done overnight. It takes months and months of training and particular AI model, uh, months and months of uh, fine tuning it uh, in order to be able to get to this point. Right, right. Um, as we're talking about a, the AI program and how it works, I would love to hear a little bit more about when you're creating the product, how do you do envision the workflow going of a typical user or a typical brand as they're kind of using the platform, submitting things for approval, using the AI, how's it going to look? Yeah, Yeah. no. So that's a great question. So uh, imagine you as a social media manager, social media managers are busy uh, and this platform is not necessarily for someone who has a title of social media manager, uh, although it's going to make their life very easy. Uh, mm-hmm. you, can, you could be a business owner. Uh, you could be a, uh, the SEO specialist. You could be a brand manager. You could be a brand marketing manager, a brand development manager, you know, all the various titles that uh, that fall within the category of anyone and everyone who is running social media for a brand, who is creating posts through the brand. Um, this is for each one of them. 
What would a typical workflow look like? Uh, the initial setup is very easy. Uh, our system will do the job of, uh, as long as you are able to go and just connect everything, authorize, uh, uh, sign up to be able to uh, gather the data. Uh, we will be pulling in all the data. Uh, we will obviously seek permission to post on your behalf. Um, and very, very simple workflow to get fully onboarded so that the product is ready. The product is at a point where it start making suggestions for you to uh, what for you to get ideas on what kind of post you can create. Okay. Um, once you once you create your first couple of posts, either you use an idea or you use content that you may have already created. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it then learns the kind of posts. Uh, and how often you have been posting. Uh, it's also it's also going to tell you to increase the frequency. Um, you know, it's, if it's something that you don't like, you can also go back and disable. But uh, typically, uh, it's it's highly recommended to create at least one post per day. Um, not every brand is doing it, but it's highly recommended to do that. So if you're not creating one post per day, then our system is going to tell you that hey, you are lagging compared to brands similar to you. <laughs> um, so there is a little bit of. Uh, 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 prescribing as well as uh, uh, self-motivating factor added into the platform over there. Uh, it's also going to tell you, uh, here are some of the posts that are popular from your industry. Right. So you have, so on a typical day, once you are through the through the setup and you've created first couple of posts, all, all you have to do after that is just log into the platform every day or every other day, or maybe once a week. Um, so that you are able to just schedule posts for the rest of the week. You are able to just pull all the ideas. Uh, very easily, you'll be able to find 10 plus ideas at a given time. Um, you could just pick any seven ideas and just create posts from, um, from Sunday to Saturday. And uh, you have your one week worth of posts ready to go. So that would be a typical workflow. Um, now, the other thing you might want to go into the platform very regularly is to view your performance. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as, as someone has very... Someone has, uh, what, what that code goes, you can't improve what you can't, what you don't measure. Um, right. So you have to go back and keep measuring that, hey, typically I get these many likes, typically I get these many views, typically per post. And um, you, you definitely want to improve that. Um, you know, that's really where, that's why you are on social media. Exactly. So in order to be able to improve that, um, you know, how you are doing, what your goals are, there is something called as engagement score. You are able to go in and do goal setting and it's going to tell you every day uh, if you, how far you are from the goal um, and what you could be possibly doing in order to get there. So in the typical workflow, to answer your question, analytics is a very big part for you to come in and measure your performance. Uh, you can also automate reports to come into your inbox uh, uh, if it is something that you would you know, like to see at a desired frequency. And all of these, uh, all of these features are pretty standard and available in the tool. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. I love so. Yeah, all of these are great. Um, who do you envision? I know you mentioned like it may be the brand manager, it may be the social media manager, maybe the yeah. someone in the SEO world like who who do you envision being like the user who's going to be on the platform the most using it so um i see uh i see a couple of users uh as the primary as the primary users one is um, a social media manager or someone who's running social media for uh an smb or a mid-market brand Mm -hmm. uh, when I say SMB or a mid-market brand, uh, a small business that, you know, that might only be doing e-commerce or uh, a small business that might only have less than five physical locations. Right. Uh, a mid-market uh, who is doing, uh, you know, who might have between 10 to 50 locations or say about 100 locations, a, a multi-chain brand. Uh, at the same time, it, it is also, it could be for someone who is, uh, you know, a, a business that is having let's say close to 1 million followers uh, so they get that level of engagement and they would want to track it uh, right. so it's for that um, the other person asked this is for is um, for uh, agencies for pr agencies agencies that are managing social media for other brands uh, mm -hmm. i see their life getting very very easy because you are able to one of the things uh, that's again very unique to us is you are able to manage multiple brands within the single interface mm -hmm. so as an agency admin user or as an agency user who is running social media for multiple brands you are able to just have multiple brands lined up and you are able to simply manage posts uh, you don't even have to spend a lot of time uh, creating content because the content is manufactured for you per brand right in the platform so i see these personas benefiting the most oh man yeah that would be a game changer like it's already great if you're yeah. just managing one social media account but that would save so much time like yes. if you're managing a ton <laughs> i hope so i i yeah um 
The um, one one of the other personas I would also specifically mention is um, uh, a, a, any business owner uh, right. you know, who is creating a business account. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be a social media manager. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, any business owner could be an entrepreneur who is just starting a startup with five people. Uh, and as a CEO, you might be running social media. Um, this you, you're certainly going to benefit a lot from a platform like this. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm sure. Anybody who uses it is going to love it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. I hope so too. Yeah. Is there, is there any other feature that? Yeah. We I mean, um, one, yeah. So uh, one of the other things uh, that I get asked a lot is uh, where do you see yourself entering in the social media management world? Uh, how are we entering this industry and where do we see ourselves placed? Right. Um, so the answer uh, it's a very commonly asked question. It's a question that I have been asked by internal stakeholders also with all, within all my external uh, interactions. Uh, so if you've heard of uh, platforms such as Sprout Social, Hootsuite, Buffer, uh, mm-hmm. uh, these are really the platform. These are really the social media management tools that we directly compete with. Mm-hmm. Uh, where I see ourselves getting placed, so we are somewhere between Sprout Social and Hootsuite. Uh, we are in between that. Um, Sprout Social, obviously, being the industry leader, uh, they are able to also help businesses manage the listening aspect of social media management, mm-hmm. uh, which is all, which is more than posting. We are doing more than posting too, uh, but we are also doing content, uh, which is right. you know obviously more than what Hootsuite is doing, which is just posting. Um, so that's really where I see us placed uh, between Sprout Social and Hootsuite. And, mm-hmm. uh, and we are also going to solve the problem that they are able to solve for their current users or potential users um, with the addition of content creation, with the addition of AI writing your content, with the addition of AI writing your social media post, with obviously none of the tools in the market uh, have, you know, are, are even, uh, have this functionality at all. Right, right. So what would you then tell people who think, oh, I already have a tool. I'm all set. I don't need to hear about it. I mean, you. I'm sure uh, to to anyone and everyone who's able to use the social media management tool effectively, uh, that is doing the job for them. That is mm-hmm. helping them go from. I'll just pick an example on one particular metric. Uh, likes is a very is a very interesting metric uh, for every single social media post. On an average, if you are getting 50 likes per post. And uh, you are you are able to go from fifty to seventy five in three months, uh, and then go from fifty to hundred in six months, which means mm-hmm. you have been progressing. Uh, then if you are, then whatever tool you are using, you are doing great. Continue to use that. Uh, I just hope you don't spend a lot of time in writing content, in creating right. content, and managing social media. Uh, what if you are able to still do that and save tons of time? Uh, the so the the tool is creating content for you and also telling you what's trending what you should be creating right now. Here are some of the things um, that are trending in your industry. Uh, go and join the trend. Uh, who doesn't like to create a post that goes viral? Uh, so things like that, uh, if you really want to up your game and uh, at the same time have time in your favor, then it's it's for those, uh, it's for those kind of users, uh, those users who really aspire to have very ambitious goals when it comes to social media. Right, right. Um, we're almost at time, so I'll ask yes. one last question, which is, what are you most excited about, about the launch? <laughs> oh, oh, many things. Uh, I'm most excited about uh, uh, getting it out and getting direct user feedback. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, uh, in, the, in the little beta that we have done, we've received great response. Every single user have loved it. Um, yeah, but that also is a small sample set. Uh, so I'm more excited about understanding how the rest of the market, when anyone and everyone who's new, but who understands social media, which is obviously understood by pretty much every other person we interact with, right. um, when they're using this tool, uh, how they really benefit from it. And uh, I'm more excited to hear their feedback uh, and understand uh, you know, what it is uh, that is helping them or making them keep and keep coming back and use the platform again and again. Um, you know, I'm very excited to see things like that. Right, right. Yeah, I love that about you, how much you care about like the actual users and the actual feedback. Yeah, I, I feel like people sometimes make tools and then they're like, it's done, it's perfect. But yeah, so I'm, I'm excited too to see how how things yeah. go, what people think and how it progresses. Yes, I mean, I would, I would uh, also, one, one last note I would mention is this is what we are launching with. And we are every single day, we are working on improving the product. We are adding new features, we are adding new enhancements. Uh, so there is a lot more to come. 
Uh, there is uh, uh, what this AI can do uh, is not just creating content or creating social media posts for you. It can also help you engage with people. And mm-hmm. uh, we want to. I want to enter that territory in the upcoming months. And so you'll, you'll hear more from more from me as we keep on improving the product every single day. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited to see what's next. Sign yeah. up social, just getting better and better. Can't stop. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. I, yeah. I appreciate uh, you taking out the time. Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on, Roshan. Um, this has been the Signcast, and yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you.